Welcome, welcome. Today, what I want to do is um, show you all how to um, create a grab actor for VR inside of our VR um, template here. So the way I can do that is under VR template, I'm searching for grab right here. And you can see I've got a small grabbable cube. Um, I'm going to make one of my sculptures grabbable. And so I'm going to do, let's see, let's do, let's just do this one right here. So the first thing to do is grabbable things need to have collisions. So I'm going to also need to put collisions on anything that doesn't have collisions. So first I'm going to look under lit and I'm going to go to player collision here. And I can see I don't have any collisions set on my um, pedestal or my sculpture. So I need to rectify that. So we'll switch back to lit here. And I'll start off with the pedestal, which when I select it is this one here. I'm going to edit the pedestal. Brings up my editor window here. And I can see I have zero collisions. I'm going to go ahead and add a box collision. And if I zoom way in on it, you can see there's a box around it. Uh, it's hard to get to. <laughs> okay, so uh, the reason why we want a collision on this is if we put an object on top of it, we don't want it to fall through. So uh, pretty standard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Um, and then I'm going to close it, select this object, and I'm going to put another collision on this one. So edit artwork collision and I want to make sure I put a box collision on this one add box simplified collision save and the reason why we want to make sure we use a box is because usually the box collisions have um, the bounding box uh, right at the height of the base if the base is flat which is what we want um, then I need to actually change this object uh, because right now its pivot location is on the axis point in reference to the zero on the modeling software. And we need to rotate the, or create the pivot point on the object. Otherwise, the grab actor is not going to work right. So we want the pivot of the object to be right in the center. So we're going to go ahead and go to selection to modeling here. Transform, edit pivot, and I'm going to just click on center. And you can see it's moved it right there and I hit accept. And so now my object will rotate right on the um, center of the object there. Cool. So next is I'm going to go to my VR template and search for grab. And then I've got my grab actor right there. I'm going to go ahead and kind of try to put it similar in location to my object. Awesome. And then I, with this selected, I'm going to go to the static mesh here find my cube. What is the name of this artwork, by the way? It's monomial. So I'm going to look for mono monomial. <laughs> Static mesh. And I'm going to type in monomial. There we go. Switch it out. Um, this actually has a scalar uh, scale factor on it. So I'm going to change that to one. One. And one to make sure that it is the proper scale. I'm going to now delete this guy and I'm going to space space and transform this onto my object. And really technically, I mean, I could have it even up here. And what's going to happen is when I start the game, the physics of it is going to make the gravity pull it back down to the base. So it doesn't really matter if it's sitting right on top of it. It will be by the time I get to it. You just don't want it to be below that because then it'll fall through and you won't see it. So. I'll maybe even switch to a different view, switch over here to selection, and I'll switch to a front view or a left view. And I want to get really close and see how we're looking here. Yeah, that's fine. Right about there is good. Switch back to a perspective view. All right. Um, and that's basically it. So now if I do a VR um, preview, I should be able to walk up to it and grab it. Let's give it a shot.
Perfect. So that's a very basic way to make things grabbable in VR. Thank you very much. Hopefully you found this useful.